Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX, and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video is actually Lesson 165 in my Chair Bound a Screamer series, and we're continuing on with our lessons in Tomba Toy Arc or Nunchuku. Um, now, in Wednesday's lesson, I told you guys I talked about and showed the, uh, the ways to flick your wrist with the nunchaku. And I'm going to go back over that a little bit for some of you guys that really didn't get it. Now, when you when you're attacked from the side, as I said, your your Wrist goes from its natural position to a turn to to, the, to, to do a, a whipping flick. Um. Now this is the natural position. In order for it to work and be a viable, uh. Strike your wrist has to turn, but when your wrist turns, the rest of the, your, your arm kind of goes with it. So you're not only putting your wrist behind it, but you've got that arm motion behind it as well. So, natural position. Flick, back up. So here's another drill for you guys to practice. Going from natural position to the flick. Natural position, flick. Natural position, flick. Natural position, flick. Now, what if you don't flick your wrist when you're doing the, the turn? That's when you go into the straightforward strike, as I talked about. Now, that, in essence, can work if you're attacked from the side, if you can move your chair. And this is where wheelchair mobility comes in on, on this. If you can turn your chair quick enough, then you can do the straight forward strike. But for those of you that can't turn your chair uh, to to take out an attacker that attacks you from the side, you have to flick your wrist. So. Again, if you can turn your chair, straight forward strike. If you can't, just turn your wrist and click. Now, a lot of people have said, well, what if he attacks you from the left side? Okay, let's go back to the very beginning of these nine ch chuckle lessons, ladies and gentlemen. If it attacks you from the left side, that's when you do your shoulder pass. And this also works if he's attacking you from behind. Because you have this motion in with the shoulder pass. You also have this motion where you're going backward. And you have this motion where you block. It all depends on the angleization of where he's attacking what technique you use. Hope that made sense to everybody. Please take care of yourselves. 
and each other on World War Love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get it to me on Facebook, please send them to my Facebook account. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye.